The first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach. Get the best education with forensic classes by Diksha and make your net forensic exam dreams come true. Download the app now. Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and in this class we are covering hanging. We are starting the topic hanging. It is the example of mechanical asphyxia. Okay, so it is the example of mechanical asphyxia. We are starting hanging and hanging is the form of violent asphyxia. It is the form of violent mechanical asphyxia and deaths from hanging comes under asphyxial death which is caused by the suspension of the body. It is caused by the suspension of the body by a ligature. So this can be anything. This ligature can be anything. It could be a sari, it could be rope, it could be the shirt or anything okay this ligature could be anything so it is a violent asphyxial death okay in which the body is suspended with the help of a ligature which encircles the neck which encircles the neck and it constructs the breathing system and it the constructing force is the body weight okay body weight of that particular person so hanging is the really very common case in india and in india a lot of people die by hanging in suicidal cases so hanging is a type of um, death which is suicidal commonly or which is judicial okay so in india if someone is getting the death uh, penalty then the person must be hanged okay so then we have classification of hanging please note that hanging is a type of asphyxial death it is a type of mechanical violent mechanical asphyxia and the constructing force in hanging would be the body weight okay and in this type of uh, like in this type of asphyxial death there is a requirement of ligature which is which encircles the neck and the body weights like and the body drops and because of the body weight asphyxia happens now we have some specific classification of hanging we are focusing here okay so first category we have is depending on the degree of suspension the amount of suspension the degree of suspension and here we have two further category categories complete hanging in which the leg of the person is free to hang that is complete hanging then partial hanging so in the partial hanging the body weight is like there but the like, body of that individual is not completely free it is somewhere touched in the surface so that is partial hanging then we have second category second category it depends upon the position of knot so as i said that there is a ligature around the neck and there must be a not tied so on the basis of that not position we can classify the type of hanging first one is typical hanging and the other one is atypical hanging we are going to cover each and every type of hanging in upcoming classes okay so second category is depending on the position of not atypical and typical hanging then we have third category that is depending upon the manner of hanging so this is really very important in medical legal manner like in in the field of medical legal science so it depending like depending upon the manner of hanging is suicidal hanging homicidal hanging accidental hanging or judicial hanging so accidental hanging is very very rare it is really rare and if there is a accidental ha hanging then we call it autoerotic asphyxia we call this phenomena as autoerotic asphyxia like first we have suicidal homicidal judicial and accidental hanging the most common type of hanging is suicidal and judicial in homicidal like we have less cases but most of the time uh, the perpetrator kills the person first and then they hang it but in post-mortem examination we get the result that the uh, like hanging is anti-mortem or post-mortem so that is one more important thing when we get the like hanging cases we first check if there is a post-mortem hanging or anti-mortem hanging which is really very easy to distinguish on the basis of signs and symptoms okay so that was the brief introductory uh, like part for hanging hanging everyone so in the previous class we have completed classification of asphyxia and stages of asphyxia so we are starting with hanging because we have first classification mechanical asphyxia that is hanging so we will start the topic hanging in the next 
class as well depending upon the degree of suspension we will complete complete hanging and partial hanging this is really very important in like respectively upcoming classes will complete the other types of hanging i hope this brief lecture is helpful to you thank you so much everyone for watching this video have a great day ahead take care of yourselves and thank you so much for watching this video if you want to join any of our coaching classes all the details are given in the description box and if you want to text us through whatsapp whatsapp support number is again given in the description box thank you so much everyone again and do check that uh, description out and see you guys in the next video with complete hanging and partial, hang partial hanging as a topic thank you see you guys in the next video bye